Did you even know this was me? I was just laying around, playing makeup. And then I tried this hairstyle and I'm like, ooh wee, this is cute. Oh, all right. Comment down below if you think it's cute on me. If this hairstyle is cute on me, you think I can work, work this like going out? Like, is this something I can pull off? Yeah, no, maybe. Well, anyway, hi guys. How are you guys doing today? Um, I'm in a good mood, you know? I don't know. Promise, I, I was not drinking anything. I literally just like played makeup. I should have recorded the video to this makeup. Like, do you guys wanna see how I came up with this look? It was pretty simple. I think it took me about 20 minutes, maybe. I didn't do my regular shebang of full voila. But I think this could do, like if I was going somewhere cute, I will, I, yeah. Can you imagine like a nice crop top, a little skirt, or even like shorts? Yeah, summer's going. And I'm just like, dang, back to winter. I mean, the winter fashion is cute. That's all, that's all, that's it. Anyway, hi guys, I hope you guys are doing great. Um, Thank you for turning into my channel today and hanging out with me. So today, um, hold on, if you are not yet a subscriber, I'm gonna keep saying this until y'all get me my subscriber numbers and off the roof, like, come on. Um, yeah, if you are not yet a subscriber, click that subscribe button, click it. You got time, just go ahead, click it. And if you're feeling a little generous, click that um, notification. So when I post a video, you know, you get it. Why am I looking like Monique? Like, I feel like I'm giving Monique vibes. Comment down below if you agree. But anyway, so today I want to talk about being vulnerable in marriage. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a tough topic because I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to do that, trust me. Um, so if you don't already know, my name is Sandra, Mrs. Easy, and I've been married in January next year, which is pretty close. It'll be four years. Oh my goodness. Like, I can't even believe it. Like, this is how people feel when they be like, oh my God, I've been married all these years. Four years is a long time. And I think, um, yeah. So if you know my story, you would know that I've been married. I got married 2018 and um, my husband was still... So I got married in 2018. And me and my husband lived separately because I filed for him to come to the America. And yeah, we've been living together for two years right no three years now almost three years you you get the gist but anyway so i want to talk about being vulnerable in marriage so when i was doing long distance yeah maybe this video is like a little bit of confession too because maybe my husband will watch it maybe but you know when i was getting married you know i'm the cutest thing on the block i'm feeling myself like what i'm the price what you can't talk to me you can't talk to me like that um and you know the chase right the man is chasing you and then finally gets you and you're like what you don't feel like you're chasing me anymore because he ain't he ain't chasing you no more he got you wake up smell the coffee he got you now sis but i'm talking from my perspective so i'm just gonna focus on me okay so um being vulnerable in marriage so I'm gonna blame society for a lot of things, you know, because they just be doing it. It's a society by that it's a society that does it. So I think where I find it hard to be vulnerable is this ego, right? So society is like if you're a black woman, you're educated, like you ain't don't you don't only got your bachelor's degree, what you got your master's, what? And then you're about to get your PhD. I'm not getting my PhD, I'm just talking about people that are gonna go through that. Um, you're about to get a PhD, what? And you're making all this money, what? Nobody can talk to you anyhow. Like, you, you the, you know, you the ish. And when I got married, I had to find a way to tone it down because now I have said yes to the man of my dreams, the man that I love, right? Now it's like, welcome to reality. Back to life. Back to reality. <laughs> Um, so I think most women, black women, find it hard to be vulnerable in marriage. Yeah. 
I'll sign up. I'm number one on that list. Um, and it has to do with ego. Believe it or not, not only men have ego, it's women too. Because there's this level of independency that we have built around ourselves. And we don't know how to come down. The level of independency can low-key be like a high horse that we've put ourselves. And now it's like, oh, how do I come down from all of this, right? Um, so for me, I lived by myself um, two years. One year before marriage and one year while married. But it was like still living by myself because my husband was not here. Um, I think the best ways that you can be vulnerable in a marriage is, you want to hear it? Is seeing your partner as yourself that has helped me a little bit and i'm still learning i'm not there yet at all um you know you know how the bible says love your neighbor as yourself um and also when two come together and become what one so seeing your partner as yourself and even as i'm talking about this i'm realizing like wow okay i am thinking like this but i might not have verbalized it um that's one way to be vulnerable ladies if you find it hard you can see your partner because first of all think about it when your husband asks you to marry you asks to marry you what did he say will you marry me so you ended up kind of choosing this man like he chose you first but you ended up choosing him right so if you chose him that's um one of my pastors always says the man you choose reflect your level of thinking. I don't know how to explain that deeper, but it's like, if your thinking is very shallow, it kind of reflect the kind of man that you're marrying. Yes. Um, so once you think about your partner as yourself, I think you treat them differently. I think you respect them differently because it's like, that's the way you want to be respected. And one thing I'm also learning in marriage or even learning to be vulnerable is um, stating your expectations and accepting no when it cannot be done. <laughs> so it's like, I'm learning. I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, um, love my husband like myself because the way I would want to be treated is... Um, to be respected, to be valued, right? So you wouldn't want to treat your husband different. And yes, the word, oh my God, the scary word that a lot of women don't like, mostly sometimes Christian women is being submissive because as soon as we hear submissive, we're like, what? Why I gotta be the only one to submit? Um, it's stated in the Bible. And if you're a Christian and you're a Bible believing Christian, some being submissive is one of what is required of a wife so i'm still learning in that because it's really hard right um because coming from where you took care of things yourself you didn't have to ask anybody you didn't have to work with anybody you really just said i want a car you bought a car you want a house you bought a house like you just make all this decision and then suddenly you have to come tell somebody sometimes this somebody is not making as much as you yeah sometimes you're the one bringing the bread. It's hard. But guess what? If you chose to be married, then these are the things that come with being married. So being vulnerable, I think, you know, of my husband, like myself. I think of my husband, like myself. How would I want to be treated? And then this next level is, okay, I need to switch my, um, my um, mentality from the, the main person to now being the submissive person, right? Um, I've always, growing up, I was, you know, cause I'm short, I've, I was always told, you know, sit up, chest up, don't slouch, don't, you know, and because it is like, it shows some type of weakness, right? But then there's nothing wrong with weakness. To be honest, like the more I accept that I am a weaker being, the better for me, because I even asked on Instagram one time, I said, when does a woman stop being so strong? It's like, I don't want to live my life being the strong black woman. No, that's not a goal for me. So that's another place of vulnerability. It's like, I don't want to be strong anymore. The man, yeah, you be strong. Because the thing is, it's hard for a man to love you if you are just as strong as him. Yes, ladies, we got to fake it. Hello, pretend weak. You're not weak, but pretend because sometimes you do something like wait what you was able to carry that like, yeah 
Yeah, I do it. So guess what? Being vulnerable, just calming down. Be calming down. Just bring yourself down small. Like, yes, you are the ish. You are the queen bee. You're the HB, what is it? The head B in charge. Yes, HBIC. Yes, all that. You are all that. But if you choose to be married, if you want to stay married, these are the vulnerability that has to come out. These are the things that you have to think about, right? Um, another thing that I, I do is not making decisions by myself. It's like, so one thing I always um, talk to, you know, any, any of my friends that will talk to me about long distance dating and relationship, I'm like, as long as you get engaged to this person, yeah, you want to buy something, just run it by them. Even if they're not paying for it. Just, it's like inclusion. You want to include the person in your life. Um, so it's like you kind of just kind of start practicing. Um, another thing um, that I would suggest to make you more vulnerable in, um, in marriage is, um, believe it or not, telling your partner how you feel, how something made you feel. Okay, I messed up at this time. Okay, it's like, it's like, you know, when you're married to somebody, you see all of them, right? So you cannot be showing all of you, all of you to your partner, but they don't really know what's going on deep down, right? So it's like being open. Oh, I messed up at work today. And maybe your partner can comfort you. Um, or, oh, um, you know, I had to do something today and I totally bombed it like be human don't be a superhuman in your marriage right and one thing that i'm definitely working on is um the strong personality of me the strong personality outspoken person the um you know i can do all by myself right um if i wanted to do all by myself then i shouldn't have gotten married um so these are the few things i could think about like just being vulnerable in marriage it's so important guys like ladies mostly this is the part I really need to say. Mostly if you got married to somebody and filed for them to come to America. I'm always going to talk about this part because this is my story. This is my journey. Um, if you brought somebody into this country and you're the woman, vulnerability is extremely needed for that marriage to work. Because at the end of the day, for the first few however long that you guys have discussed or whatever you are the sole breadwinner um you are the one that you know takes care of majority of the things in the house until your partner can or until your husband can um you know start to work and do things on his own so vulnerability is highly needed um because then it gives you the opportunity to speak how you're feeling you're not bottling it up um you're being open you're saying hey like um this is how I'm, what i'm going through you know this can be tough this could be hard not bottling all up like closing it and then one day you explode out of nowhere and you leave the guy like wait what that has broken a lot of marriages because it's like you know you brought me here and you treat me like you didn't want to bring me here so i i think i think we women when we stop thinking about our husbands like we did them a favor marrying them i think that will help mostly if you brought somebody from another country like you did not do them a favor like god used you as an opportunity a way right because at the end of the day you're getting companionship and secondly if you can think mm -hmm. about what this man gave up to come live here with you mostly for men that did not need to move anywhere like they were doing good where they were and then you brought them here so like i just want to state that in there like please make room for vulnerability black women yes the strong black women the black angry women like just keep all that outside once you're walking into your home just let your shoulders down and be the true you because the thing is this is somebody that has seen all of you. So why wouldn't you want to let them in? All right? All right. Um, I'm done being inspirational, Sandra. I hope you learned something new today. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you like my hairstyle, if you just want to make me feel even better, leave a comment and subscribe down below. Thank you, guys. Bye.